Hey y'all! Welcome back to my channel. My name's Mary and today I am going to be reviewing a natural and organic pest control recipe that I found on YouTube from Corey from Liquid Dirt. So we're going to review his recipe in this video and I'm going to tell you guys what I think about it. It's um, coming up on spring and it's time to get into the pest control routine and for me natural pest control is really important because a lot of you know that I have a cat so Mr. Cat is really important to me and he does like to nibble on you know sharp pointy leaves so um, having a natural um, recipe to try out to protect my plants and also protect my cat is really important to me. So um, that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing. We do houseplant related things on this channel. Um, and if you guys have tried this recipe before, let me know down in the comments what you think of it. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so you guys know that Corey uh, from Liquid Dirt, he's really smart um, and he's really knowledgeable about plants. So you guys can check out his video. I'm going to link it down in the description below and he does a really good job of explaining how all of these different ingredients work in his recipe. So today I'm going to make his recipe and I'm going to spray my plants down and then in about four or five days I'm going to spray my plants down again and then I'm going to let you guys know what I think of the recipe on the short term basis and then in the future I'll do an update um, just telling you guys how I like it in a more long term regimen. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. And then also I wanted to tell you guys about Liquid Dirt because I've been using their product for about six months now and it's really good um, natural and organic. Uh, fertilizer for your house plants or for any plants that you own actually you could use it for your vegetable garden or any trees in your front yard um, liquid dirt is a really uh, versatile uh, nutrient for your plants you can use it in an aquaponic or hydroponic setting or obviously just regular regular house plants which is what I'm concerned with today but I just wanted to let you guys know about liquid dirt and how awesome it is and how I've really been just loving this fertilizer mainly because it's natural and organic and I'm not going to burn my plants with this and I know exactly what to expect um, when I put it onto my plants and uh, it's never going to go wrong when I put this on my plants. I'm never going to harm my plants by using this product so I really love this product and it's actually um, what I've noticed very uh, cost friendly. This whole package has lasted me for the past six months and it's still over halfway full so it's really nice i really have enjoyed using it and if you guys are interested in this product you can check it out at www.liquidert.com and if you wanted to buy this product you could use my my promo code and that is mary underscore 25 and if you spend 25 dollars you'll get 25 percent off on your order um using that discount code so check it out i hope you guys enjoy and let me know how you like the product so we're just going to get into the recipe now so corey does a really good job of explaining all these ingredients like i said before um but we're just going to go ahead and mix it and I'm going to tell you guys the recipe really quickly. So in Corey's recipe, you basically get a spray pump, which this is my spray pump. Um, and you put two quarts of water in here. And then the first component of the recipe is this specific brand. You guys have to get this brand, okay? It's Dr. Wood's Tea Tree Castile Soap. Okay, so that's the first part of the recipe after water. The second part of the recipe is the same brand, but this soap is the peppermint castile soap from Dr. Woods Peppermint. The next component of the recipe is hydrogen peroxide, 1% solution. So you could just go to your local drugstore and pick that up. 
Um, in my case, I have a 3% solution, which I'm sure many of you have a 3% solution. Um, so you're going to actually have to dilute it for this recipe because you want to use a 1% solution in the recipe. Um, and then the last component of this natural pest control recipe is 70% isopropyl alcohol. So um, I also picked this up from the local drugstore. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the ingredients for this recipe. The proportions are 2 quarts of water. 1 quarter cup of the tea tree soap, 1 quarter cup of the peppermint soap, 1 tablespoon of the 1% hydrogen peroxide, and then 1 cup of the 70% isopropyl alcohol. So those are all the ingredients. If you have a 3% solution of hydrogen peroxide, you need to dilute it to make a 1%. So the recipe for that is gonna be a two to one recipe. So you'll use one part of the 3% hydrogen peroxide solution and then two parts of water and that will dilute your 3% solution to be 1%. So for the sake of time, I have already created my 1% solution in this cup right here. So that's what I'll be using. So let's go ahead and put the soap in our spray bottle. I've got some measuring devices right here. And we'll start with the tea tree soap. And we'll do one quarter cup. All right, while I am pouring this, where did my sticky note go? Do you see the note? Oh, there it is. All right, I got. Some, I took some notes from Corey's video. The tea tree soap is good for helping disinfecting your soil and suffocating the larvae of any um, insect insects that have gotten into your soil that are going to be pests. Um, and basically, the tea tree soap also helps kind of kill all those egg, egg sacs as well. So that's the purpose of the tea tree soap. And like I said, uh, Corey does a really good job of explaining this, so check his video out. Um, the next ingredient is the peppermint soap, and it's another quarter cup of that. Ooh, smells pepperminty, okay. All right, we got the peppermint soap. While that one's going in, the peppermint soap um, basically kind of repels flying insects, which are gonna be in and around your plants. So that's kind of why this component is in the recipe. Um, and then the next part of the recipe is one cup of 70% isopropyl alcohol. So I'm going to measure out one cup and put it in here. Hopefully I won't spill it everywhere. Uh-oh. All right, that's one cup of alcohol. One cup of 70% isopropyl alcohol. All right, and then the last one, the 1% hydrogen peroxide. One tablespoon, you guys. So here's my mixture that I've already made and I'm going to measure one tablespoon. And then I'm not going to really shake this up. I'm just going to kind of swirl it. If you shake it, 
think of all the soap that's in there that it's just gonna have bubbles everywhere. So I'm just gonna kind of swirl it. And that's gonna be it. That's my mixture. All right, you guys. So I've gathered almost all of my plants from inside. Not all of them, but most of them. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pressurize my pump. I'm just gonna pump it up. And then I'm going to spray down all of my plants with the mixture that I just made from Corey's recipe. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So you're gonna get to watch me spray all my plants down. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. My spray pump is busted for some reason, uh, and Christopher couldn't figure out what the problem was either, but he's in the middle of playing Sea of Thieves, so we're not going to bother him anymore. So I'm just going to put it in this spare spray bottle I had. Uh, it's not the ideal situation because it's going to take more muscle, but it'll be okay. We're just going to carefully try to pour it in. All right, that's our first batch in the spray bottle. All right, so we're gonna spray all the leaves, we're gonna spray all the surface of the soil, and just go from there. So I have, I do know that I have some thrips. I've seen thrips on my philodendron uh, species red fuzzy petiole, so. I know he's got thrips. He's got some thrip damage on some of his leaves. Uh, so yeah. And then I know I probably have thrips on a couple of other plants at least that's in this bunch. And then outside I know I have aphids. Um, and then I may have spider mites on my Cebu blue. So yeah, we're just going to hope that this nips everything in the bud. It's supposed to, so I'll let you guys know um, how I feel about it in a couple of days um, after a couple of applications. So.
it's uh, like seven days after the first application of the liquider recipe that we used um, for our natural and organic pesticide and I'm here to report on my findings um, so far we really enjoy using this product well this recipe it should be a product actually but here are some of my plants that I sprayed I pretty much sprayed every plant in my collection inside and outside and we also sprayed our outside vegetables like Christopher's pepper plants they were covered in aphids um, and all of our plants uh, survived we sprayed them twice now I think um, since last Monday and this plant this philodendron species fuzzy petiole had thrips on it I don't see any evidence of thrips since the spray um, I'm going to continue monitoring and spraying but hopefully oh cat cat hairball that's totally unrelated to the pesticide. Yeah, this isn't because of the pesticide, you guys. He's got a hairball, I swear. Okay, I think I think we avoided the hairball crisis, everyone. Mr. Cat is still with us, and he gets a little hairball every now and then, and he starts doing that, so he's okay. Um, but anyways, the philodendron is looking really good. I don't see any thrips on here, so I'm going to continue using this product. Um, these are some of the buy some of the other plants that got sprayed as well and they all look really nice um and i don't have any damage from the spray so if you follow that recipe exactly the way i said it and Corey tells you to do it in his video then you should have no issues i don't if you have issues you did something wrong okay so that's my take on it so i highly recommend trying this recipe if you need a natural um pest control regiment and i highly recommend mr cat <laughs> i highly re recommend trying liquid dirt use my discount code and i hope you guys find this video helpful and if you leave my video a thumbs up i will continue making more of these videos and i will know that you guys really enjoyed this one um if you're new here consider subscribing um, and yeah, we're just going to end it here. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.